Hello, Monsters of Anhyr, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires, part 27 of my Scar Snick campaign. Where Azhag is currently attacking Nolan, we've been striking the settlements all around Ultdorf, and Nolan is just the most recent to get a battering. Defended by Boris Toddbringer, who is flapping around on a griffin. And as has got a wyvern, it's going to be a Clash of the Titans, or at least a flappy bird thing and a big monstrous reptile thing. And while we're doing that, we also need to take out these artillery pieces down here, because they could be doing a lot of damage to us if we let them... But looks like Azhag's easily winning that one. He's kicking the shit out of Boris. This little uh, Anzapul's Black Horror is going to do some damage to those artillery pieces. And we've got the war coming in as well, but I don't think we're going to need them. As our biggins slowly getting up to the top of that wall. And as soon as they're up there, they're going to start doing a lot of damage. It's as good as one. Meanwhile, Boris is losing this battle. I mean, just... Oh, he's just getting his ass kicked. Maybe it's a lack of peripheral vision. Who knows? Either way, he is... He's, yeah, he's... I mean, he's massively outclassed. Azhag's an absolute bruiser. He's almost ten... He's, he's almost got a thousand weapon strength. A 95 melee attack. Okay, we're going to come down and knock out those artillery pieces now. Meanwhile, the wall is... Yeah, it's just... There's the only there's only two types of units on the wall. There's big ones and there's jam. But that, that there's two things on the wall: big ones and jam, or things about to be made into jam. That's three. That's three. Th that's three. Three things. On Fuck. I'll come in again. And the enemy gates are down. We've already got in amongst the Templehof Luminarch. That's being torn to shreds. To shreds, to say. The gate's down, but there's no one really to kill inside the walls, to be honest. We've we've dealt with Boris. We've dealt with the artillery. The Luminarch is now running, although if it does rally and turn around and shoot me, that could be bad. The only thing left, really, is, uh, is a steam tank, which... Against an entire, entire horde of greenskins, isn't really going to turn the tide. Plus, of course, Azhag can get in here and uh, and help finish it off. Oh, and apparently there's an Imperial Empire captain in there somewhere, still, still fighting on. Very brave of him. Rather stupid, to be honest. Is that artillery crew heading back to the? God damn it! Right, let's take out this steam tank, because I, you know how I feel about steam tanks. I hate the bloody things. They're really irritating, but as you can see, that steam tank is, is getting the crap kicked out of it. Azhag's a real terror. Well, that's one less... Well, I'm just going to sack it. But one less city for the Empire. I mean, it's not a very good city anyway, so... This this is good. Let's do that. And... We're going to take... Do I take a deadly onslaught? I think I do. You know what? Azhag is quite, quite beastly, actually. Quite a nasty... Uh... Nasty combat lords, so we'll keep him as such. I guess I'll do that with you, because I don't think we've got anything else to take. Nope. Nope. Okay, we'll take that, and we'll give you thick-skinned. There we go. Okay, so we've taken the the war victory city, so we've got 14 turns left of our war, and then we'll get 20 charge bonus and 6 obedience, which is, you know, fine, I guess. Well, that is the question. As soon as you boys arrive at the front line, they're in trouble. Now, I know there's a vampire army around here somewhere, so I'm going to pop you in ambush stance, see if we can lure you out. 
Got Henry Van Zank. Where the, is Boris around? Oh, I just killed Boris, didn't I? I just killed Boris. Oh, forget me over head if it wasn't screwed on. Let's go... I mean, neither of these are particularly good. I guess I could go bonus... First infantry. I'm not, I'm not super into it, but... There we go. Uh, right, if I want to upgrade you boys to go... I think we're going to go bonus first large. And I want to know where those high elves are. There they are. It probably will. Right. I think we're going to go and kill Alistair, although the fact that he's replenishing is... is well, I'm, I don't like it, let's put it that way. I'm against that kind of thing. There's Eltharian. This is absurd. Oh, tell me about it. It's fucking ludicrous. At least it looks like he might have lost all of his um, Eltharian units, which is good. Because his Eltharian units are like normal high elf units, but worse. By which I mean better. Also, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you raiding me? Go away. Go and do something else. Go and harass someone else. I don't. I don't like it. I'm against it. Go away. Bugger off. Go. I mean, we've got we've got a lot of money, so that's good. Uh, what about boisterous shakedown? Mm, gargantuan glutton. Go culinary cum curmudgeon. Curmudgeon. Uh, okay, let's go boisterous shakedown. I do want to do your quest battle. There's no reason we couldn't do it now, but I'm not going to. So, there we go. I can't remember what his quest battle's like. I don't think the... I mean, is the axe... Is the axe good? Genuinely can't remember. What is the axe like? Uh, so, growth all provinces. Yeah, armor piercing damage plus 40. Yeah, that's okay. But it's infantry 15, and... Uh, I mean, it's fine, I guess. We'll, we'll do that. We will do that at some point. Yes. Can you block Henry over here? Lovely. And yes, a horde of Bretonians. That is a fuck. I just hate that. I hate the look of that army. I need to get um, as Hag to deal with that because of course all these boys are anti-large, which means they get an additional eight. But I mean, I'm going to be honest. Eight bonus versus large isn't really going to change my life, is it? No, but I guess it's something. What's their stats? Not, not you. You. Uh, 5138. 135. Fuck me. Oof. Oh, genuinely wincing. Actually, no, don't do that, because it's just going to get... They're just going to burn it down or do something. I don't really care. If it's not a victory city, I'm not interested. Oh, good. They're allies. Well, settlement's been raised, and the High Elves have paid the, the Beastmen. Have they? Have they really? Interesting. Interesting. We've got gifted musicians, though, so that's, I mean, that's something. That's something. I'm going to have to fucking head over here and kill these dickheads now, aren't I? Lovely. Good job. Not for fuck's sake. <laughs> Just what the fuck? <laughs> uh, oh dear. Uh, like, I could see them failing, but like both getting wounded at the same time is just... It's just... It's just... Oh. Will you? I will not obey. Oh, old Balthazar. You don't have to obey. You just have to die.
So I guess we're back again. Balthazar this time. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, we need to take out that artillery. We also need to kill Balthazar himself before he does too much damage. Looks like he's uh, dropping Plague of Rust on Azhag. That's not going to save you, though, is it? What are you going to do? This is kind of the problem when you put a unit on a, on a mount like Balthazar, because although it makes him very manoeuvrable, he, he should have really been running away from this. He does have the Dracwald Runefang, which does give him physical resistance, which is going to help because uh, as I mean, no, it won't help because Azag's got magic. No, he doesn't have magical attacks. I stand corrected. He doesn't have magical attacks. But uh, Balthazar is getting his head kicked in very, very quickly. It's literally a matter of time, and we're keeping him busy, which is the important thing. Here comes our war as well. I find... I, I tell the units to go and uh, get the wall, and they'll just... Like, like, these guys, they should be pulling the magical ladders out of their asses. They're not doing that. Come on, lads. You're just standing there getting shot. However, our biggins up on the wall now, going to be doing, yep, huge amounts of damage. How's Balthazar doing? Yeah, we, oh dear, he's not doing very well. Oh. Ow, that's going to sting. And now we're coming down to take out the artillery. However, we do have a horde of angry Reichsguard who are going to... Uh, Attempt to stop that from happening. Meanwhile, yep, yeah, it's absolute carnage up on the walls. Yeah, I've got bad news for you there, mate. So far, the Halberdiers have managed to kill no one. At the same time, they've lost half their number. Not looking great. Meanwhile, there's a lot of Reichsguard over here, but they're all packed up nice and densely, which means we can use Antipol's back horror. Which is going to do a significant amount of damage. And then we can hit them with a Wind of Death. You can see a number of those right scar just drop dead. They've done a lot of damage to that unit. They're now easy to kill. He's killing about a couple each hit. Those units are going to start breaking and running. And the gates are down, finally. You first. Get stuck in, lads. Yeah, this is this is just mop up. Oh, 100 kills. Holy shit. Absolute carnage. Meanwhile, Azhag's still having to fight Reichsguards. There's a lot of them about. He is up to 75 kills, though. Uh, can we see how much value he's got? He's got 4,000 damage value. That's pretty good. He has taken quite a bit of damage, but he's he's murdered a lot of Reichsguard. And considering that in the lore, it was the Knight's Panther that killed him. Who are not Reichsguard. They're a different knightly order. But that's not the point. I wonder if they'll ever add... The, I mean, they surely must eventually add the White Wolves, right? The White Wolves were a... Were a unit of... Have they added them as a... The gods have, abandoned us. Hell and have they added them as, like, one of the red units for the Empire? I don't think so. The Knight's Wolf were, like, these... That'll help. Were, uh... Uh, Knightly Order of Midlands... And they were basically, like, they just carried two-handed ha like, two hammers rather than lances. Went around bopping people. They were my boys. I had a unit of them in tabletop. They were great. Fucking love those lads. Alright, looks like everyone's dead. Good job! Right. One less army for the Empire. I'm going to raise Nolan. Just for funsies. Uh, 
Uh, right, we're level 31. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is evasion chance when using the underway could be useful. Raiding, looting, sacking settlements. Um, this might keep us alive. I'm mostly worried about the sheer number of armies that are currently sort of like levied against us. Like, we can win a battle. But it's winning battles fast enough to make any ground is it turns into that that's what the problem is late in in total war warhammer 2's gameplay i find like you can you can kill armies until you oh uh, until till the cows come home but if you're not killing them efficiently enough then you're never going to be able to actually get anywhere you'll just be holding a line and that's not what you want If we come over here, then we can do a little raiding camp, even make some money. Now, I'm going to burn Schwarzhafen down, but uh, Sylvania, Eastern Sylvania, I'm going to keep. Uh-oh. Will you, though? Will you, though? Is that going to be a thing? I want a big garrison here for if Archeon shows up. Big if at the moment. Roll them over. Rattled effects. Charge bonus 50%. Sure, let's go with that. And Vorgaz. Get Madcap Mushrooms. Vindictive Glare. Something like that. And Grot Slick can be slippery. The slippery, slippery boy. Katie Hopkins is is a mitherer. Any other skill points we got? Yep, of course. Hoz Cub. I mean, not the two that died just now. They, they, Jesus, those guys. What Fuck me. <laughs> just block them. Hmm. 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 I see. Uh, the Dark Elves at war with... They're not at war with Bretonia, which I think is about the only thing that's saving them at the moment. Otherwise, I think they'd be in trouble. Oh, for fuck's sake! Better things to do. Well, me too! Last thing I need is some fucking Sisters of Twilight sailing over to come and have a pop at me. Fucking hell! <sighs> I swear to God. Right. Do I what right, what what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Do I want to go and burn Karoberg? Could do. Let's come down there and do that. Now, what is Clan Moors doing? Ooh, Clan Moors like me. What about if I give you a lot of money? No, not Really? I'm right. Okay, good. And my liability is only down to medium, so actually, that's not too bad. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, we've managed to get an on aggression. I'm, I'm hoping we can get clan walls on site because they are strength rank five. So I'm wondering if we if we help them out, maybe they'll you know. Help us out. Also, I've got Bretonians on myself. Forgot about that. Oh, we've got Plague, though. So, you know. That could be worse. That could be a worse thing. Oh, Aranessa, what are you up to? Is this a good idea, Aranessa? I don't... Is it? I cannot rewrite reality. I mean, we're, we're doing lots of bad stuff to the, to the High Elves, which is useful. Hello. You want a military alliance? Sure. I don't know how you got so strong, but sure. I guess. Still no sign of Archeon. Um. Okay. 
It's a little bit weird that he's being quite so hesitant to pop his little face in. You want schemes? I got schemes. Stick him! Seven up! Uh, oh, you know, fuck it, I'm just going to raise it. Otherwise it'll take for fucking ever. Take for bloody ever at this rate, Jesus. Good. Let's go and hit that. And raise it. And we're going to get death from below. Your army's a little bit beaten up, but it's not too bad. It's viable. As long as we don't get hit by, like, multiple stacks or that big blob of horrendous goddamn... What should we call it? There's a high elf army around here as well, which we've got to go. Oh, crap. That would be the big fuck off army with all the mother chuffing hippogriffs in it. Yep. Yep. Good. Good. Good, good, good. 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 Right, let's get death from below. Then we can get. Iron Hearth and you knows it and then Lightning Strike which is going to be very useful for all the goddamn armies they're throwing at us at the moment. Than anyone. Yeah, that's, that's my line. Uh, let's go. Ooh, Dodgy Geezer might be nice. What do we have in this army? Uh, we do have the chariots don't we? So we could go with uh, Missile. Oh missile no, that's not, not different. No. Is this Arda's or is it riders? Is this chariots? Doesn't say squig, not squig, pump wagons. So this gives armor. It just gives armor for pump wagons. Is that it? Oh, it's barely worth it. We do have some trolls. Let's let's buff our trolls. Let's get the big lads. Trolls, giants, all that kind of shit. Perfect. Right, here we go. Oh, there's that river in the way, isn't it? Right, if you hop over here, then basically we can all jump them together at the same time. Take Sylvania. I mean, we've got five armies converging on Sylvania. If Vlad isn't thinking that he just made a big mistake, I, fuck, I don't know when he would. Can we block Krapants? Lovely. I'd like to hit Kemper bad and burn that down to the ground. I mean, it'd be nice if Clan Moors was doing some some stuff with us, but apparently, apparently, Queek's not into it. Brave to approach me, head taker of Moors. Should I kill, slay you? I well, I mean, you could do, I guess. I wonder if you would. If we join your war against the Bowmen of Orion, or even Numus, should we do that? To, to, uh, I'll keep an eye on it. If, if it looks like Numus is about to die, then I might join them in war just to get them on my side. It's a very goblin thing. Right, come here, you little shits. Are you laying siege to me? You motherfuckers. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm... Oof. Indeed, you are. Right, I'm gonna bring you over here because... I'm gonna bring you down here. Just to keep an eye on... What's going on. I mean, so far, the... Em I mean, the Empire must... Can't have that many armies. possibly warrant the Greenskins to... Strength rank 24, which is pretty... Well, it's about mid... It's about mid-table. Which, considering how much I've been ransacking and burning their empire, is a little bit concerning. Oh, 
every end turn, I think, oh, this is it. This is this is going to be Archeon spawning. But nope, not a sausage. Now, where did that... Where did Rapants disappear off to? I'll take him out, boss. I Hello, I Boris. All right, let's burn Kemper Bad down. Yes, way. And yes, I could be sacking it, but then I just, I just want to to torch as much Empire settlements as as many Empire settlements as possible. Okay, Castle Templehof. Any defences here? Yes, I do. Get the fuck in there. Get the fuck in. Right, no, that's that's nope. I will. I mean, seventy-six k. I can't really say no to that. I'll be silly. Let's move you up here. And we'll do something like that. And then it's like, parachute more goblins in. I mean, this 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 looks bad for vampires, to be honest. I bet Manfred's slamming his head against the table about what Vlad did. And more so the fact that he decided to join him rather than dump him. You should have dumped him, Manfred. You should have dumped Vlad. I know he's Vlad Daddy, but... What were you thinking, eh? What were you thinking? Oh, it's not even really worth fighting that. Now, I don't know where Rapance has gone, so I'm going to be a little bit careful because Rapance's army is legitimately a little bit scary. Uh, what do we want here? Oh yeah, we want to probably go iron hard, don't we? That's what we want to do, because we want to be super sneaky stabby. And be able to lightning strike. Admittedly, when we've got a war, we probably won't want to lightning strike. But in between wars, lightning strike, especially against the massed hordes of the Order Tides, can only be a good thing. I mean, look at this. Is it little naval battles going on? This is a thin joke. Is it? Your threat must be ended. You're, li you're, Ariel's name. you're you're fighting you're fighting the dark geez the dark elves got their heads kicked in it probably would have been okay if it wasn't for chaos this is why you shouldn't put chaos on legendary not because i don't like the challenge but simply because that way malekith gets completely fucked and he's about the only person in the evil tide that survives to the end game everyone else gets their head kicked in Yes. About that. You're not. Are you laying? You're not laying siege. What are you doing? You're just chilling. Okay. Well, I don't know what your plan is, but I, whatever the high elves paid you, it really wasn't enough. I'm not. I don't even know how they paid you. How did that work? Eh? Eh? Also, when are my when are my big bosses coming back? When are they coming back, eh? Well, quite. What and where the hell is Archeon? If I keep saying that, eventually it'll turn up. Hello? I did I did try to explain to you that the High Elves didn't pay enough. Uh, oh my god. Uh... Uh, right. Okay. Clan Mulder's dead. That's good. 
And apparently the vampires are concentrating. They've, they've come around the north. And apparently they've just been con... Alright. Bop. Put you over there. It, it is. Uh, okay, let's torch this place. Siege expert. Very nice. Good to know. Uh, right. Who's got the nastier army? No, you do. Okay, so what we're going to do. You attack Wormhoff. And you're going to loot and occupy. Then we're going to get Sly to hit Eshen. And loot and occupy. It was pretty stabby. And then your army, oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. you are indeed, is going to come down to here. And then we're going to get Grom. To attack it with both of our wars. So we're going to go on AI control. And we will have taken Eastern Sylvania in one turn. However, that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.